Hey, Taurus Seekers, when you fight for harmony, that's when there's no harmony. And when you stop fighting for harmony, that's when you get some harmony. Why am I saying this to you? Because you fight for everyone. You put yourself on the side because of what's right and what's moral. What about this person and how will do me doing this will affect that person? And is it spiritually okay? Is it morally all right? Six of Swords. And this is when you're, you're not doing that anymore. February, Aquarius season, you're not doing this anymore. You're moving away from that. It's now about you. What makes you happy? If it comes at the expense of someone else is happy, you're not sacrificing yourself for that anymore. You can't, you can't keep doing that. When you're miserable, the world is miserable, right? You're the great mother, you're Gaia, you're planet Earth. If you're uh, out of balance because you're not feeling good for whatever reason, you are not good for people around you. Now, they want you to stay. They want you to stay even though they're not good for you. Because you're good for them. You can't do that anymore. You also can't stop yourself from doing something that you want to do with someone you want to do it with because how it will might make someone else feel. The Wheel of Fortune. Everything is changing right now. Whoever might feel hurt by you doing what is happy for you and good for you, they have their own path to take. Don't deprive them of that. No, they don't need you as much as you think and as much as they think. They need themselves. They need to fight up. They need to fight for themselves. They need to stand up for themselves. They need to get shit done for themselves. I'm picking up that you're dealing possibly with someone who's who has codependency issues. Um, who keep telling you, how will I do this without you? I can't do it on my own. You're my everything. You're my this, you're my that. The world, Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles. The world is calling. The Knight wants to move. Two of Pentacles. You're, you're, you're staying because of fears and doubts and what ifs but you actually already know the answer you already know what you want to do what you need to do if you stay with this person because you don't want to hurt their feelings You'll be hurting them a thousand times more. They need to take that route. They need to take, they need to be without you, Taurus. And there's someone else that you need to be with. There's a place that needs to be without you. And there's another place that you need to be with. A lot of you right now are in between two things, right? Between two places, between two jobs, between two people, between. One, you're staying because you don't want to hurt anyone or you're scared of the change. The other is your future. You can't face your future as you face your past. What are you, an owl? <laughs> Eagles also have like a, almost a 360 uh, spin for their head. Owls, I think, have a full 360. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on there. But. Ten of Swords. Aries also had this yesterday. Something needs to end. Something has got to end. Something painful. Something long. 
something full of karmic lessons. A lot of these karmic lessons have been resolved. Now it's time to just move away from them. Be full and be free. February calls for your freedom because a lot of opportunities and a lot of things that are for your future and that really echo on the same frequency as you do want to enter or want to have you come with them. But you can't if you're bound to something for reasons that are not love, for reasons that are not truth of the soul. You know what it is. Every single one of you right now watching me, you're holding on to something, not for love, not for the future, for them, for that, for that person, for that sacrifice, for that thing, for that story, for that narrative, for that past dream, whatever, you, you fill in the gaps. For the guilt, for whatever necessity, Fool walks away from this painful ending, but in order for the fool to walk away from a painful ending, this ending has to occur. The world here, the night of what, like, you know, the, the inertia is going to swift you. Wherever you feel conflict and dissonance and discomfort, don't fight it. Don't fight discomfort for comfort. Go to the comfort. Don't play into the conflict, to the argument, to the rebuilding. Rebuilding of what? It's broken. Some of you need to watch Sagittarius reading. There's something there for you. There's a message there for you. A new world is opening up for you, to you, Taurus, and it really wants you to pass through that portal. For some of you, it's an exciting person that opens up possibilities and or exciting place that opens up possibilities. It really can play out in so many ways. Some of you, it's all of the above. And there is this grand unknown, but you feel in your stomach that it's right. Invited on an adventure, take it. Demanded to stay where you're at with coercion and guilt, slam that door behind you, please. Especially your rising Taurus out there right now, Taurus rising, you have a lot of things changing. Nine of Pentacles. The North Node and Uranus in your sign demand you to be in abundance, in ease, in flow, in fun, and in love. Some of you have gone through, many, all of you, I mean, you've gone through such an enormous leap, crazy leap in the past year or two. You've changed so much about your life. You've learned the 
value of you, you've learned a lesson of value, of worth, of what it means to be in your worth and, and in your value. And so a lot of you are like, well, I've, I've already done this big leap. Well, that's not even close to where you still have to go to. The highest place you think you're at is not the highest place. There is higher and no, you're not greedy. It's just your soul is on a journey. It wants you to come with it. It needs you to come with it because you're, 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 the, you're the vessel through which your soul expands and moves and grows and continues, right? If you stay behind, your soul stay, stays behind and it's like, ah! And, and you feel it, you feel like you can touch something, but you're not quite yet touching it because there are restrictions or there are, you know, Saturn is in, is in Aquarius. It's, 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 it's um, squaring you. It gives you, it, it's almost like teasing you. Can you do it? Yeah, it's gonna be challenging. And, you're, and you're, you're probably sitting there like, well, decide, am I supposed to be challenged or am I supposed to not be challenged? Well, when I say conflict and dissonance, I'm not talking to going through a challenging change. I'm talking about staying somewhere stagnant and, and, and fighting yourself, fighting your heart, fighting your flow, fighting what's next for X, Y, Z reasons that I've already described. And then on the other side of it, when I say take on the challenge, take on the challenge of listening to your heart and setting yourself free. No, climbing is never easy, but it is easier when you have lighter baggage. Sorry for the dogs. Yes, there's nine of pentacles, but then there's also 10 of pentacles. Once again, no, you're not greedy. No, you're not narcissistic. No, you're not selfish. That's what narcissistic, selfish, greedy people tell Taurus, so Taurus will stay with them. It's called gaslighting. It's called deflection. I'm not doing that to you. You're doing that to me. There it is. There's that devil. I knew that. I knew that would turn out. That Saturnian shadow Capricorn controlling energy that holds you tied with beautiful words and guilt. So much guilt. Such an uncomfortable comfort. Stockholm syndrome. This is not the time to be captive in toxic connections. This is not the time to be captive in toxic jobs. The money and the abundance and the expansion and the success will come when you make it about love. The hangman, queen of swords, page of wands. Sometimes the most practical decision is the most seemingly impractical decision. It is that scenic route that leads to the top of the mountain as opposed to the rigid route that gets you to the almost. 
I did a video, 13th Element, about uh, true secrets of, um, no, like, um, how did I name it? I forget. It's about Kabbalah, Kabbalah, from the Jewish mysticism and how to really tap into the power of manifestation, how to really create your life. And it goes through the alphabet, the Hebrew alphabet or whatever alphabet where in which you got to go from the first letter to the last letter, the entire journey. And the first letter, watch that video from my 13th element playlist. But in a nutshell, you can't make shortcuts. A shortcut would be to be at a job that you hate because it pays you X amount of money and there's a promise of a promotion that you think might get, might get you to do something you love. That's a shortcut. That is a lie. It gets you almost to the end of the alphabet, almost to the complete cycle. It skips stages. What are those stages that you're skipping? Following what your true heart desires. Just sitting down and be like, where do I want to be right now? Physically, emotionally, mentally. Where do I really want to be right now? What do I really want to do right now? With who do I really want to be right now? All those questions. And then that gut instinct of an answer, that's where. And then if it's a challenge to get there, that's taking the path of truth from A to Z, from Aleph to Taf, the entire alphabet order. order. Skipping the heart will not get you to the top. Skipping it will get you tumbling back down. The hangman, the queen of swords, the page of wands. So many, so many demands. So much judgment. So many shoulds and shouldn'ts. And some of you with this hanging man here and the Queen of Swords right next to the devil, you're sacrificing yourself, sacrificing something for an, uh, some sort of an ideal or a moral integrity of some sort, maybe a promise you made a long time ago, whatever. It's, But if you're miserable through it, you got to break it. you got to sit down with that boss. you got to sit down with that... Um, homeowner, you got to sit down with that partner, you got to sit down with that whoever and, and say, I'm sorry, I don't, it's not, I made that promise, I was either a different person or I didn't value myself as much as I value myself now, I didn't consider my heart as much as I consider it now. I have a different perspective now that includes me. Love is absolutely about mutual compromises, but it's never about sacrifices, like of the self. Love lifts you, supports you, encourages you. And if you want to do something that you love, it doesn't tell you that you're wrong. Right? You can't raise your frequency when you were. When, while you reduce your frequency 
to fit someone. You won't be able to, okay, I'll just go down to their level and then I will raise them back up with me. No, they'll keep you there. If not them, then the universe. Well, you made your choice. This is the frequency you wanted to be on. Well, there you have it. And 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 the, the, the scary thing about frequencies is that they tend to multiply themselves. Okay, it's why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. It's, it's, it's the rules of manifestation, the mirror effect. The more of something, the more of something. It multiples and multiples and multiples. So when you put yourself in a certain frequency, when you put yourself on a certain level, you will tend to remain there because events and situations and people and things will be drawn that that are aligned with that will be drawn to you more and then you'll be like oh it's a sign i need to stay in this oh it's a sign i need to, to keep doing this oh it's a sign I, it's not a sign that you manifested those signs you created those signs by being those signs by being the by behaving according to the meaning of those signs that you manifest to come to you and then you're like oh it's a sign i need to be there but if you make a choice that raises you and that means what do you love what makes you happy? Happiness is a higher frequency. Then that attra attracts more of that. Life is revolving doors, you know? Every door you choose opens into a hallway of 22 other doors that are very very similar and even more so like that right and it makes it and then each of those doors leads to more doors like that and so on and so on. and then you find yourself in a maze of the same and then make it, it the more you go through these doors the harder it is to leap to a different timeline with different revolving doors. Every decision you make, make it about this, this, not necessarily this, but this, right? Connection to source that is fearless, fearless. I have Carpe Diem tattooed on my ankle and right next to it the number 13 which is the number of the death card to remind me to live to remind me that if there's something I really want to do and I'm really passionate about the more it scares me the more likely I should be doing it just a reminder right And I love having the Wheel of Fortune here kind of also remind us that these are the letters here that we have. The Wheel of Life speaks the laws of love. That's it. The Wheel of Life speaks the laws of love. There you have all the Bibles and theosophies and philosophies in a nutshell. And here it's Yud, Yud He Vav He Jehovah. Okay, That's what God is. You have one law, and it's the law of love, and that's what guides you through life and gets you closer and closer to God. And that's the only thing all the gods teach. The rest is societal control that we have imposed on divine words. The religious self-sacrifice for the sake of the whole is the most ungodly thing in the world. Jesus didn't sacrifice himself. He was sacrificed by society. Huge freaking difference. He didn't martyr himself. He was murdered butchered 
and then was martyred by society to impose its own rules and regulations using someone like him, okay? What happens when you sacrifice yourself for the greater whole? What is that greater whole? What is the greater whole made of? Individuals, okay? So if every single one of us individuals sacrifice ourselves and there's no self, what is there? What is left to, to comprise this greater whole? What makes a greater whole if not the individual? So if you don't exist and they don't exist and you don't exist and they don't exist, the greater whole doesn't exist. How is the greater whole vibrates on love? Every single individual needs to. There's that story about, you know, the parent who sacrificed themselves for the sake of their child being able to pursue their dreams and fulfill themselves. Where is that child that all the parents are sacrificing themselves so they could go and fulfill their dreams and pursue their life's mission, whatever. Where is that child? The child grows up, becomes a parent who sacrificed themselves for their child and so on and so on. That's just an analogy applied to everything, not just parent, child, everything. There's a reason why love and passion are so engulfing and so stronger than us. Because if it wasn't stronger than us, we would never follow it. We would make reasons as to why not. But when it's so much stronger than us, then it really helps us be pulled towards it, regardless of how hard it is. Or how much society tells us that we shouldn't. No, you shouldn't care for your health or your breathing or your future well-being. You gotta sacrifice yourself for everyone. Okay, so everyone is sacrificing themselves for everyone, and everyone is going are going to die for the sake of sacrificing themselves for everyone. Right? If I if I sacrifice my own health, my own health for the greater good, then and we all do that, and everybody does that, or most people do that. then those people will perish. And then where is the greater good? <sighs> Making decisions for yourself, being happy and unapologetic and listening to your heart, that is the greater good. And that is the teachings of Christ, I believe, that is Christ consciousness and many other prophets across the spectrum, but we've mutilized their teachings because we are so used to depriving ourselves, so no way, no way this person is telling me that I need to take care of myself and love myself. No, what they meant is that I need to just be miserable for others. And those others need to be miserable for me. And we all need to just be miserable for everyone else. And that way we're all miserable. And that way there's a greater good. Everyone is miserable. What? I made myself miserable for your happiness. You made yourself miserable for their happiness. You made yourself miserable for their happiness. And so on and so on. Everybody's miserable for someone's... I don't know who that person that were, that were so miserable for their happiness. Because they're probably miserable for someone else's happiness. It's, it's just a party of misery for happiness but you don't, you don't understand it makes no freaking sense right it doesn't make sense sorry my hair is driving me nuts what what is going on here? if the idea sounds good but your heart shrinks If a person promises you that they're going to change, just one more chance. This time it's going to be different. This is a time where you get tested. 
by the universe. This is a time where you make a choice to a revolving door, right? And if you say yes to toxicity, that's, that's what you'll be signing up for, for a very long time. Again, you'll be saying yes to more toxicity. But it, it's, it's, a, it's a breakthrough moment, it's a breakthrough opportun opportunity. I see adventure, I see travel potential, I see some of you will not listen to me and you're going to sacrifice yourself for someone else or for something else or for a greater idea that is of course bigger than you and more important than you, right? Everything is more important to you, more important than you, Taurus. Except that, no. Except that no. If you sense that there is something better for you, you're right. If you sense that you deserve to be happier, you're right. If you constantly feel like you need to apologize for achieving, for succeeding, for progressing, for choosing yourself, you're wrong. They are wrong. Something big is happening this month for you, Taurus. Something really, really big. It's not a ride you want to miss. There is this sense of temporary sacrifice. For the sake of a leap, you know, like a slingshot, going a little bit backwards or sh to shoot forward. I will see you in the extended that will focus on your love life and whatever else comes up, and we'll also finish up with messages from the wounds. It's available on Vimeo and on Patreon. Uh, thank you for being here, Taurus. Thank, thank you to my channel members. I appreciate you. And thank you to my patrons um, and everyone who's tuning in. Okay, all the links are below. I'll see you soon. Oh, and check out Tarot Masterclass Boomkai. Okay.